Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. So American Gun Chick, do you want to do a quick intro, tell the folks who you are if they haven't heard about you? So what's up? I'm American Gun Chick. Um, I have a YouTube channel that I've had for like four or five years, something like that, mm -hmm. where I started from scratch. Like, I didn't grow up hunting or shooting or anything like that. Like, I just grew up just an average person, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then I just kind of got into it and then took a bunch of classes over a couple of years. Now what I do, my goal and my mission is for other girls to look at me and see me. And my goal is to be different and kind of stand out and show that, like, I'm, I don't know, like a girly girl, I guess, and just like mm -hmm. myself. You know, and that maybe other girls that are the same way, they can see that and they can recognize that, like, it's you don't have to be, like, a total badass, I guess, or you mm -hmm. don't have to be, like, ex-cop military guy. You can, you can mm -hmm. be in the gun world and you can carry and you can defend yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. So what I do now is I, like, host classes for, like, I've taken my training over the four years and then I host classes for other girls that maybe they're too nervous or intimidated to go get training from somewhere else and then I pretty much get them started get them comfortable teach them safety so they're safe and they're not like putting their finger on the trigger and mm -hmm. sleeping people and stuff like that and then give them tactics so they can learn how to like clear malfunctions if anything ever happens and stuff like that so okay that's what I do now and yeah you can find me on YouTube all plat platforms pretty much like Facebook Twitter Instagram. right you've been kicking asses you're making music doing all kinds of stuff yeah. <laughs> I made an album. Yeah, go cop that album. Yeah, <laughs> out Did there. A rap song. That was yeah. Cool. Are you the only one, uh, Toya? Are you also doing music? Do you have a SoundCloud or something? I do not. Uh, oh, no okay. one wants to hear me do music. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Really, you should just do it anyway. Cause why not? You know. I'm yeah. okay. I'm gonna we, let you handle that one. <laughs> we should all get together in the gun world and do like a Christmas album or some kind of nonsense. Yeah. yeah, that would be pretty ill. <laughs> that would be cool. Like, yeah. like you change all the Christmas songs to like tactical songs, kind of. That'd be cool. Yeah, exactly. We should do something. You know, maybe do it for for some organization or charity or something like that. Okay, let's let's go to Latina Locked and Loaded. Joanna, you want to tell the folks about yourself real quick? Hi, uh, my name is Joanna. I'm Latina Locked and Loaded on social media and. Basically, me and my husband have a podcast on Sunday nights at seven on our YouTube channel. And um, we're Second Amendment advocates that focus on the Latino community and basically um, kind of encouraging, well, me, women and Latinos to get into guns and destigmatize the community from, you know, guns. <laughs> yeah. And that's what we do. <laughs> right. So what you're saying is that there's a... Uh that there's probably a lot of people in, well, lots of different communities, I, I would say, but in the Latino community that, you know, they've got this thing. I think everyone's into guns, but there is a stigma about coming out publicly with guns, right? That, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, I think everybody in the community can attest to, if you're living in a liberal area, like mm -hmm. my husband and I, that it's something that's very taboo. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I mean, I openly talk about it, but, you know, you have to have, kind of feelers for you know where you bring it up mm -hmm. um but also in, within the latino community we kind of get abducted or brainwashed into a certain political you know ideology where guns are considered dangerous or you know a negative thing same mm -hmm. thing happens in, in in other minority communities like the black mm -hmm. community so mm -hmm. that's why it's important to do work where you know you have to kind of open people's minds and make them realize that this is something that's not a negative thing and it can save their life yeah, I think the more we put this out there and everyone does it in their different forms, like Raquel is saying, like showing, hey, there's different <laughs> flavors, colors, shapes, sizes in, in, in this world. And we all, you know, we everyone should have access to the Second Amendment and be able to defend themselves. I think if we if we do that and talk about it more, uh, we help people to come out and, and talk about things that they've always thought about. You know, um, I, I remember when we got into this, Lola told me that she always thought guns were for the bad guys. Right. So and, and I know that's just a thing that does go through people's minds if you look at movies and all of that. So, um, yeah. Uh, so this helps.
Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.